Hi everyone, in this video let's see about reduction of quadratic to canonical form. First of all, what is quadratic form? The expression in which all the terms are of degree 2 are called quadratic form. Let us see an example for this. x square plus xy plus 2y square. Look at this expression x has the power 2 and in this term x, y both the terms has the power 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Here y also has the power 2. Now look into this uh, explanation the expression in which all the terms are of degree 2. Thus this expression has the degree 2. So this equation is quadratic form. Then let's know about canonical form. A quadratic form in which all the terms or square terms are called canonical form. Consider an example x square plus y square plus z square. In this expression x term, y term, z term all the terms are the power square. So this expression is called as canonical form. A quadratic form in which all the terms are square terms. All the terms are square terms. So this equation is canonical form. Now let's see how can we write uh, the expression into matrix form. How can we matrix form. In the question there will be an expression and we have to write the expression in the matrix form. Uh, to write the expression in the matrix form this is this will be a general term. All the diagonal entries will be coefficient of x1 square, coefficient of x2 square and the coefficient of y x2 square and coefficient of x3 square and the remaining terms will be half coefficient of x1 x2 half coefficient of x1 x3 half coefficient of x2 x1 and then here half coefficient of x2, x3, half coefficient of x3, x1 and half coefficient of x3, x2. As the matrix is symmetric, the matrix is symmetric x1 x2 will be equal to x2 x1 x1 x3 will be equal to x3 x1 x2 x3 will be equal to x3 x2 so half coefficient of x1 x2 will be equal to this both of these values will be same half coefficient of x1 x3 will be equal to this half coefficient of x3 x1 both of these values will be same and then again half coefficient of x2 x3 will be equal to half coefficient of x3 x2 as the matrix is symmetric we go for symmetric rule let us see the steps involved in uh, redu reducing the quadratic form to canonical form the steps are first step First step will be convert the expression that is quadratic form to matrix. Your question will be in the quadratic form and we have to convert the quadratic form to the matrix form. Step 2 will be find eigenvalues. Then the step 3 will be find eigenvectors. After finding all this, form the modal matrix M.
from this modal matrix M find the normalized matrix N normalized matrix N what is N N of x1, x2 and x3 will be x1 value divided by root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square and then x2 value will be write the x2 value divided by root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square the third value x3 value will be the root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square by substituting the x1 x2 x3 values in this term you will you can find the normalized matrix n after finding the normalized matrix n sorry the step 6 will be find n transpose normalized matrix transpose of the normalized matrix then the seventh and the last step will be find D which is equal to N transpose AN. This will give you the canonical form of the given quadratic form.